Welcome to 6.30, well, 6.40 a.m. Welcome to uh, suburban Michigan. <laughs> and I'm finally, it's freaking cold, it's 50 degrees right now. I don't know why I don't have a little jacket on or something, but I'm planning on breaking a sweat here in a minute. Just walking around my mom's neighborhood. Just getting active, getting mobile. I've lost almost eight pounds in the last week and I have a whole lot more to lose so this is going to be an integral part of doing that. Left on the edge of a mountain tonight I'll sleep on Sunset Strip. Next week it's down on Cocoa Beach and then back on the road in Route 666. Mosquitoes don't have their way with me, but this is the point where I go for a little run. Yeah. See, I'm trying to do the thing that all the YouTubers do. <sighs> Where they put up a camera somewhere and they just, you know, you watch you walk away. It's so unnatural. I know they're trying to be cinematic with it, but I'm not that guy. But I wanted to see what it looks like, so. Eh, it's whatever. Time to run. Put you in my pocket. All right, so let's chat a little bit. I always try to keep my voice down when I'm in the house because I'm a respectful little boy. Um, I don't know where my journey is headed right now. I got a lot of plans. We want to do a tour to release this movie. We want to, you know, Chantel and I are supposed to go down to Cabo, but that's not going to happen for a while uh, to film stuff. Uh, I got shows all over the country. I want to get back to New York. I want to, I don't, I want to explore Michigan. I want to hang with my daughter. I want to Get to know my grandson while I'm here. I want to see my son go back to Colorado. I got to go there and get all my stuff out of storage and bring it here. So there are adventures. Um, but I just don't know where, you know, I always look at things with an end game. And I don't think this is the end by any means. I, I just don't. I'm here for my mom and her husband. That's what I'm here for. That's more important than anything. Uh, there will be some side quests of, <laughs> like I said, going to get my stuff. And uh, we got a party in about a month or less than three weeks in Tennessee. I got to go to uh, for the for the movie. <sighs> so I'm just kind of I don't I don't I, I'm going to first off what I'm getting at is I'm going to knock these YouTube shows down to one a week because I'm uh not able to get as much content to film you know two or three times a week like I had been I was going every Monday Wednesday Friday there for a while here come the mosquitoes and uh that was a lot especially because every episode's like a half an hour you know so I'm basically producing a small lightly edited movie every single week ha ah, man um but I don't know if I mean I think I can get enough content to do a 20 minute show a week and I hope you know, for the people that do watch this, you're cool with that. Free up some time for you, right? Uh, the old high school, Oscar A. Carlson High School. We got a cannon out front now. 
to fight off all the other high schoolers. I would love to go back in there. I've said this before, but I would leave school back there and walk all the way down this road. I'd literally get off the bus and instead of walking into the school, I would just walk down this road. Um, I would scrounge up all the money that I had, dollars, quarters, whatever, put it in my pocket, take the bus to school. No, actually I walked a lot in the summertime, but in the winter we took the bus. I'd walk down here and go to A&W. And I'd get a, oh, and I'd go to this little park patio market too. I'd go get a chili dog, pop, maybe some fries if I could afford it. And yeah, that's what I would do <laughs> instead of going to school. And then my mom and my stepdad at the time would go to work. So I would walk to uh, back to the house and uh, yeah, just go back to sleep. What I'm actually doing out here is looking for some land, a couple acres of land. I'm in my mom's car. I had to drop her husband off at a, a dock appointment, but uh, that's why I'm not in the van. But I would like some land to park a van. We are in the swamps of southeastern Michigan. My goodness. I did my fair amount of exploring when I was a kid on a bicycle. I don't remember any of this. This is beautiful, though. Oh, yeah. Eat my pussy. Okay. That's a thing. Somebody spent time doing that. We can beef when you got letters. It's the smartest people that do this. Do not destroy artwork. <laughs> what artwork? This looks like dog shit, people. Look at that, that's gorgeous. What are these plants? These plants look like those things that uh, you see on the internet all the time. That make you click them because you think they're gross. It's awesome looking, I've never seen these. Not that I remember. What is that bird sitting out there looking for fish? People actually fishing over there. And this? You want to eat something that came out of this? I don't fish. I'm not much of a Michigander anymore, I guess. I always feel bad for the worm and the, the fish. <laughs> feel bad. There are nails coming out of this and loose boards. That is not good. Glad they're doing some construction on it. They're probably building a freaking Krispy Kreme or something. Try not to step on any nails or touch any spider webs. Ugh, gross. Oh yeah, so it's a little supply route here in the old Civil War. Seriously though, did they bring these rocks? Or did they dig up? This is not dug up. I guess they're gonna be putting these rocks places. Cool, a lot of rocks. Alrighty, in the backyard. It's a lovely backyard, it really is. Unfortunately, it's swarming with yellow jackets right now and that sucks. Uh, but they're over there, the yellow jackets are over there and I'm gonna try to fix a hole in a fence. Fun shit. Could be. <laughs> this segment will be sponsored by <laughs> Ryobi. Thank you, Ryobi, for giving me all this stuff. Nice to finally put it to use. this yellow jacket issue we're having. 
they're dive bombing us everywhere. It sucks. I didn't even notice they were way worse on the bottom. That's funny. Yeah, they're just everywhere. Yeah, but they're uh, real, real persistent. Morning, 7.40 on a September morn. It is uh, officially hoodie season. It's a little chilly out today. I like wearing hoodies, so here we go with that. Anyways, taking my mom's seatbelt in to get fixed today. Again, exciting stuff, but it's happening. It's part of the, part of the adventure, right? I don't know why the seatbelt got all twisted and I can't figure out how to untwist it, so go see what the professionals have to say. September morn, we dance until the night became a brand new day. All right, dropped the car off here at Krusty Ford or Crest Ford, whatever it's called. Getting a ride back to the house. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know why I made that noise. Yeah. First time in months, I'm actually washing the van. I kept it dirty for continuity purposes with the movie. Couldn't have it dirty in one scene and clean in the next, and we filmed that movie for almost two months. So, now it's time to clean this some bitch. Well, Randy's got some acne now, I guess. I didn't realize this before, but whole little car wash cave I'm in is a spider head and they're everywhere. They keep crawling down on webs trying to eat me in the van. Not cool. That is much better. Nice clean car covered in dead spider carcasses. Hmm. <laughs> All right. Still waiting on if um, these people are going to be done anytime today. It's 8 48. I have a few things to do, but they're all not opening until later. So I have to go find something to do for the next hour and a half, which is fun. It's kind of my, kind of my thing, you know? So they're actually delivering my mom's car and that's cool. So I'm back here at the house trying to figure out what this film film of funk a funky film so to speak is on my windshield it's just uh i noticed it's been harder and harder to look out of it it's a brand new windshield for the most part and i cannot figure out why daddy's got the funky film on the windshield i got a funky windshield and i don't like it let the stuff sit on here longer or something. I do know. I'm in the best of buys. The most unique best buy. Because it has like, this used to be a food court for Southland Mall. And it uh, still looks like a food court with the best buy in it. Got the big pyramid up there. Let's go look at the big pyramid. The big pyramid. Most people don't care about stuff like this. I think it's pretty neat looking. I remember when they built this, we were like, what is that? <laughs> How are you? Ah, okay. oh, no, no, just uh, DVD players actually. That was quick. A little Neil Diamond heart light on the radio, but I found one for like 40 some odd dollars, brand new. Sony, cool, whatever. It'll play my mom's old DVD collection. Now what to do? It's only freaking 10.30, man. 
freaking starving over here. Ooh, what else is there to do? So I have two main objectives for myself today. A lot of running around for the mom, but this a little tiny, tiny, tiny. You can make earrings out of these things. Um, hard drive is my movie. Since it was too large to send via the interwebs, um, I had to buy this little guy and mail it out. Pretty cool though. I mean, literally two terabytes. That's nuts. I gotta do some uh, podcasting today. The first ever episode of the Everything on This Small Blue Dot podcast is my new podcast. Everything on a Small Blue Dot. I'm going to bring out the laptop to the van, film it out here. I also have to do a van life, pot, living in a van podcast. All kinds of stuff. Out of breath today, man. Anyway, lots to do, plus all the normal running around stuff. All right, movie is on its way to the distributors. Yay been i think harder to get the movie out there as than it is to actually create the movie creating the movie was fun editing the movie was kind of fun you know getting it seen is a whole nother thing so we got this distributor named gary that Vinny hooked me up with hopefully all that works well um so it's on the way to him yeah and then um yeah i gotta get a movie poster made so Ooh, that's fun. But right now I gotta go to Kohl's and return something my mom didn't like. Happens a lot. We thought this was a cool thing, a little HDMI splitter, but it was the wrong thing. Thankfully we ordered the right thing and it works, but this was not it. Ooh, take an extra 35% off. <laughs> I don't really feel like I'm living when I'm in a house all the time. Um, I'm not complaining about my situation. I don't want you to think I am. I'm talking to myself in the future, I guess, because, uh, you know, this is all personal stuff, right? It's a big scrapbook of my life. Ah, I've said that a thousand times. But I was just thinking to myself, and sometimes the self thoughts come right here right by the ear they go but down the jaw and bleh. so now i'm recording myself my inner thoughts i um i don't know i just i don't like being in a house for too long i love staying with the vineyards i love staying with garrett i love staying with brian down in phoenix and garrett in T tacoma and my mom's house here i love it i think it's great i i, I enjoy the uh Luxuries such as running water and a toilet, things like that, showers, kitchen. I love cooking, but I don't feel like I'm living. Uh, I, I hate it. I feel like I'm rotting if I spend, you know, a week in a house. I feel like I'm rotting now. And it's, I, even these short little trips, I just love getting out and being in the van and just going place to place to place to place and keeping my mind fresh and. I hate traffic, but that's a given. I'd hate traffic if I had a house and I had to go to a day job. I just, yeah, I don't know. I'm running to Meyer again, you know. I've done this a thousand times since I've been here. I've been here for a month. I, I'm just, ah, oh, man, I just, I can't wait. I got, here's, here's my predicament right now. I don't want to leave until this man is on his own two feet, literally, and without a walker, without, you know, any labored intensities, um, I want him back to as close to 100% as possible before I, you know, head back on the road uh, for everybody's sake, for my own conscience, for just, you know, for logical reasons. <laughs> like, if something happens to this guy when, you know, I'm not there, even if I'm just making a run to Meyer, I will have a hard time forgiving myself. It's not my fault. I get it. But I'm just going to be really upset because I've already prevented three or four big falls and... It's, uh, that's my, that, that's, my life is on hold right now for this, and that's my purpose right now. It's my porpoise, people. Everybody needs a porpoise. I like Meyer, I really do. But every time I walk up to this Meyer, it smells like a freaking ashtray. 
People quit smoking. It's disgusting, you're disgusting, it's unhealthy, it's stupid. Just quit smoking. It's really hard to believe that some people don't know what Meyer is. It's uh, basically a Walmarty type of thing. I think they only have Meyers in like, uh, I don't know, like Michigan, Ohio. I think there's one in Kentucky, maybe Indiana. Not a lot of them. I mean, there's hundreds of them here, but it's bigger than Walmart here. I am sweating because I'm in a van with all the windows up. So I was yelling and screaming, doing my podcast. I'm really happy with this podcast. All the research and everything I did uh, really turned out well. It's saving right now. It's called Everything on the Small Blue Dot podcast. Look at all that hour and almost an hour and 40 minutes. Oh, that was fun though. I had a really good time doing it. I did the first episode about smoking because I hate smoking and smokers. And I... Uh, pretty proud of it. If you're a smoker, you're not going to like it. Not this first episode. You may like future episodes, but not this first one. Um, if you're a non-smoker and hate it as much as I am, uh, as much as I do, then you'll agree.